Good morning, guys. Finally here. 2019, fixing to kick it off. We getting everybody up around, fixing to go fishing church real quick. And we are super freaking pumped that it's not 32 degrees. It's not raining. It's not cold. And now, if the fish will be biting, we'll be good. Just got the boat in the water. We're here at a flooded Sam Rayburn. I mean, it is high. It's like seven and a half foot. Everybody knew it was going to be high, but man, we got here to the ramp. The docks are still out of the water. So launching, I mean, it's up in the flat part of the parking lot. And so launching's a bear. Um, and a lot of ramps are actually closed right now. So uh, one, because of the high water. Two, because of uh, government shutdown. So a lot of like the national forest ramps and uh all those are shut down we're at umphrey right now i think pretty much most of us will be launching at uh here at umphrey and at uh, castle boykins um and that should get, let us get around you know the majority of the lake i don't think flooded timber is going to be a big deal this week it's just mainly going to be uh mainly just going to be floaters apparently some guy last week actually took a motor off with a floater i think that's going to be our our main concern but it's definitely high i got james nigmeyer actually helped me out what's up how are you this morning got glenn he ran our fishing church or helped us out with it this morning and i'm catching a ride to my boat and he's catching a ride to his boat like all of us yeah but let me go out with that. <laughs> Golly. it's like freaking noah's ark here Golly, dude. appreciate it yep. man. i don't need a, I, Right. All right, guys. I'm about got out here a little early now. I don't know if y'all can see, we're about fogged in now. Got a few crickets rigged up. I hear that occasionally a fish is caught on a red rattle trap down here, so we'll give them the chance to eat a cricket. Traps. Crank them up, baits. Seen a few schooling, so we'll give a few the opportunity at this. Are they schooling out here in the middle? already have way too many rods on the deck. I don't like fishing that way, but because we don't know, i am probably put this flipping stick back. I don't need that, I don't think. Six, six. All right. I think we're good. guys oh just got kind of settled down on a spot it is foggy this morning so if you can see of course we're sitting in one spot so the it's not gonna look as good as when you're moving but came around this corner no, y'all can't. But there's a little, the end of this little creek, as soon as I rounded this corner, this last little hole, there's several, several fish sitting in. I really don't think, though, that they're gonna be spawning the water. I got 50 degree water temp right now. So I don't honestly think that they're gonna be in too much of a real pre-spawn they're really probably still going to be more in their winter pattern. But right now, I'm not really loving where I am. It's kind of muddy. Got a bunch of trash in it. 
not really seeing much bait or anything on the graph but you kind of get pigeonholed because you can't <clears throat> can't really go anywhere you can't like really run down the lake to something you know, like oh that cove looks good or that there's a row of docks you know anything like that this just makes it really tough All right, guys, just pulled out a little deeper. Same same pocket, or same. We're up in Buck Bay. But I uh, came out a little further. So I'm sitting in 35 right now. I went over a point out here more towards the mouth. I like there's a few sitting out in like 30, which is where all the all the shad and bait and stuff seem to be dob around a little bit still hadn't had a bite it's 11 o'clock hadn't had a bite all morning there was a bite oh like that like that bite felt like a kentucky there he is i got something if it's a bass it's not a bad one It can't be a bass. Oh, it is. It, it is a grown one. I mean a grown one. That, oh, he ain't as big as I thought, but he's a good tournament fish. Come on, get in here. I'd say, you don't think you like that jig? 30 foot, been up in the bushes all morning. There it is, there it is. There's one. This one's not as big as that. That's what we thought, a little spotted bass. Oh. Pretty good. So the water's kind of muddy. Muddier than I thought it was when I first got here. Just throwing a jig with a little twin tail. And uh I just don't think it's doing enough. Go to a darker color, full skirt, a little bigger profile. And uh putting a crazy crawl on the back. Hopefully give it a little more, a little more action in the water too, a little more thump. It's a little update. I uh, hadn't had the camera on for a pretty good while. I've been trying some different stuff. Still trying to like get the trap bite going and all that and it just hadn't. I caught one about two and a half pounds on it but it's not what I think it should be. I came uh, back down. I'm actually in five fingers right now. So I came down just trying to see if the water's clear, you know, getting an idea where I might want to spend the rest of my practice, what I want to do tomorrow and whatnot. And it, it is a little clearer down here. Not a ton, but a little. I've had one bite. And I'm going to try to slow down and drag a worm through some of these hydrilla, some of these grass beds, just fish obvious stuff. Seems like any time you have a little mid-morning updates. We're on day two of practice now, and it's really, it's really weird. So you get in 30, 35, 25 to 35 foot of water, and there's 
there's bait structure and stuff and that's where I got bit yesterday and today I've been it's 9 30 I've been fishing it and I haven't found like the exact stuff that I like but I've been fishing it and I haven't had a bite I mean not even a single bite so I know of a few fish that have been caught up in the bushes flipping I haven't personally caught it and like I'm idling over right now where I just stopped it and uh, still fish down there so I, I don't really know but I still feel like there's something to it to the deep bite fishing structure because I'm still marking fish pretty well still marking bait just no no bite so what I'm gonna do now is uh, start looking at because the water is warming up a little bit I'm gonna start looking at the old shoreline which is in like 10 12 foot of water um, drag a real small Carolina rig like a quarter ounce weight through the old hay grass and stuff and see if it can't come up with something. So change it up a little bit, see if it can't come out. Find a few. camera just died um, not too long ago but I, I hadn't put a new battery in it but I came up here hopefully that pine tree doesn't fall um, I came up shallow picked up a blade and like second cast caught one about three pounds three and a half which really throws me for a loop but I don't know maybe they're up here it's so hard to find a good hard bank though um, maybe it's the deal I mean we'll see That's five cast in 20 yards. Not a big one, but as tough as it is. As tough as it is right now. That's, uh, I'm happy to see that one. Give me an idea of something. One's an accident, two's a pattern. Some say two's an accident, three's a pattern, but that close together, it's, uh, Definitely a deal. Ooh. Lunchtime. So the two day recap, and now caught them in 35 foot of water. And two foot of water. And not much in between. So. And I really haven't covered much water as far as different areas of the lake just because it's so tough. But I think I think I'll look at another arm. I'm still up the ash arm right now. A lot of guys just going down the bank with spinner bait and different stuff. Hmm. We'll see. One of those fish that catches you. I had a bite in so long, didn't know he had it. Golly, how fat he is.
morning guys it's morning three for practice the general consensus is that it's ridiculously tough <clears throat> there's a few people who've gotten like 10 by today but in general um, it's pretty tough I had three bites yesterday kind of ended up fishing shallow had three bites it was cloudy windy which should have been pretty much perfect for that so today we're gonna go I think I'm going to uh, commit a little more today to the deep bite so it seems like what I what this reminds me of a lot is uh, Lake Travis so I don't know if y'all remember last year but Lake Travis it was kind of similar the water's like in the 60s like 62 63 and people were catching them in like 40 foot so I think that's what I'm gonna do today because the way I look at things is worst case if that doesn't pan out then I can always go do the other thing scramble around and hopefully get five bites so grind it out today figure out how to get five deep bites start the year off right so it's day three if I haven't told y'all yet I hadn't talked much because there ain't been much to talk about I was going to try to fish deep today. I've been at it for about an hour and a half. I've had one little bite that I know 100% was a Kentucky. And I didn't catch him. So, plan is right now I'm going to go from fishing points and points and uh, brush piles and stuff. I'm going to come back inside the creek. And I'm going to try fishing kind of straight down the gut, down the ditch. And see if, uh, see what that does for us. So I traded up my black and blue jigs, trying something different. Sat down and kind of built me a little something, something. Just to try. Ain't no sense in doing the same thing over and over. All right, so, just ran back over. Sorry, just ran back over to where caught the big one the first morning. Gonna see. If they're still here, even if they're Kentuckys, maybe it'll be a little limit hole. We'll see. Felt a little better at first, but I don't think he's well. Better than the other ones, but he ain't another four or five pounder. He's a bigger Kentucky. I don't think he'll even keep though. See what we got. Oh, yeah. 14 inch. Kentucky, guaranteed. I should have set the hook on that. Ain't that big, but of course he kind of caught me. Ain't big at all. Hey, 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 hey! Goodness gracious! 
I ain't very big. But probably another keeper. Oh yeah, 15 and a half inches. When he hadn't had a bite all day, 15 and a half inches still like good ones. So now what we'll do is that's two bites off those two off that spot. What I'll do is uh I'll go around and try to find something similar here close. I'll try and just hop around and fish them throughout the day. Just want to show y'all kind of what I'm looking for. I'm out here idling around. See, just got brush, shad all over it, a couple fish. See it on side scan over here. A few stumps out here. That's what we'll do. Just simple market, and it is deep. Go up here, blue for brush, and then we'll I'll scroll back on this. See, so that's see my cursor dropped a little far out. So I'll drop another one over here. That's all I'm doing right now, idling around looking. Just kind of last last minute, hoping to find, you know, something. I don't, this, so this morning I said, I think, you know, oh, it'll definitely be one out deep, and I've, I, I just don't think so. I've tried and tried and tried. I mean, I found a ton of brush, and you'll see shad around it and, and everything, and it, it's so hard to get a bite off of it, except for this creek. For whatever reason, this creek, it, you can, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's the amount of shad. I don't know what the deal is. But for whatever reason, this creek, it seems like I can get a couple of bites. So I don't think like I'm in here gonna idle around and find something to win it. I'm honestly, I'm just looking, it's been such a tough practice. I'm just looking for something to where if I need a bite, I can come in here and hopefully pick up one or two off some structure. So that's the plan right now. Well, that's it. It's uh, end of day three and the days go freaking quick. When, uh, when it's January, I mean, we've been getting in. We have times now that we're allowed to fish in practice, and it's been 7:15 to like 5:25. And when the bite's tough, like it is right now, plus uh, a short day, I mean, it, it makes your practice days seem like they just scream by. So, did get more bites today. I'm happy about that, but still haven't seen consi you know consistent big fish. So. Right now, I think the game plan will probably be uh, cranking the spinnerbait and, and throwing that jig out deep, so. We'll see. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, everybody always talks about how tough it is on them, and then, and then you get out there, and you know, I think this will be one of those tournaments where somebody's gonna catch, you know, they're gonna get five bites, and all five bites are gonna be three pounders or two, you know, this will take 15 pounds or something uh, just to get paid. It will still be, you know, they're still going to catch them. It's ready for an end of the day. Uh, everyone here is good and they're, and the fish live here. The good ones do. So that's just how it is. Hopefully it uh, pans out for us come Thursday. So that was it. That was my three days of practice. Um, it really wasn't good. By now, if you're watching this, you've probably seen that the top few guys absolutely smashed them. But, you know, that's not always the case. I just wanted to show um, show y'all, you know, I thought, man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put this up. I've only had a couple bites, no one wants to watch that. I know it was a long video, um, but it was a long practice. You know, it was, it was tough, it tough on me at least. Uh, I do have some awesome stuff from the tournament that I will try to have up by the end of this week. I, I do appreciate all y'all taking 20 minutes out of your life to watch all this. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and I'm always looking for comments um, of other stuff you'd like to see. So see you later, guys.